Mark, great to see you once again. Today we're going to be looking at a crucial ingredient to the world of racing, fuel. Yeah, it is essential, of course. It's, uh, it's what gives the engine most of its power, so it's integral to performance. Uh, and the teams and their fuel association with their, their fuel manufacturers and the engine manufacturers put an awful lot of work into getting the absolute most they can from it. Now, don't get too sciencey with me, but what are they actually putting into the car? Well, it's not a million miles away from what you might put in your road car, so it's based around pump unleaded fuel, which uh, people may not realise. But again, like I say, the, the fuel companies that are associated with each team, and most of them do have an association, um, put a lot of work, a lot of effort into tailoring the, the chemical composition. As they do with every single part of the car, they're looking to maximise every last little bit they can. So still a lot of work in terms of the chemical composition and getting the most out of that that they can. So if I was to put it in my car, it would actually work? Yeah, it would do, yeah. <laughs> and what about, do they have to monitor that a team aren't going to try and put something extra special in there? Yeah, they do. They're very, the FIA are very strict uh, with what teams are allowed to use. So um, they have to, the teams and their engine manufacturers have to supply a fuel sample early at the beginning of the season. That's kept as a control sample. And then the FIA, over the course of a Grand Prix weekend, at random and unannounced, can come along and take a fuel sample from the car. And of course, that fuel sample has to match the one that was given uh, previously, just to make sure they're not adding anything to it, they're not changing it um, over the course of the, of the season. Now, I do feel I have to touch on this as well, the safety part of it, because the fuel is what could turn that car into a fireball, isn't it? It's a big consideration, obviously. If we go back 40, 50 years in the sport, we were, we were seeing cars turn into fireballs quite regularly. It was a, it's a horrendous time. So we've put a lot of effort into that area. And, and of course, with 100 kilos of fuel, which is sat just about here, sat right behind the driver, it's in the, what we call a fuel tank, but it's actually a bag. It's a, a ballistic grade material, this bag, deformable thing to get it in through a very small hole in the bottom of the car. It sits in here, but it's, it's military grade, so that if there is a big impact, it's, it can't be punctured. It's not going to spill fuel out. There are some really hot areas of this car during, during a race, the brakes, the exhaust. If fuel was to spill onto that, you know, you can understand what the consequences would be. We've seen um, some quite substantial new rules surrounding fuel this year. Talk us through those. Yeah, quite significant changes, actually. 2014 Formula One is a much more efficient formula than it, that it ever has been. So what we've now got is a restriction on the amount of fuel that we're able to use. So we've now got 100 kilos of fuel um, between the lights going out on a Sunday afternoon and the flag dropping. Um, previously, in years gone by, that might have been 150, 160 kilos. So a significant drop in there. Um, and we have to be very efficient to be able to do that. The other restriction, which is also key, is the flow rate that that fuel can be delivered from the fuel tank into the engine. Now that's something that's been unrestricted previously. Now we're restricted to 100 kilos per hour. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at those two figures and say, you can't run at 100 kilos per hour for a race of around two hours because you're going to very quickly exceed your, your limit of 100 kilos. So the teams have to be very strategic, very clever about how and when they use that fuel. Well, thank you for firstly not getting too sciencey with me and of course for sharing your knowledge. It's great to see you again. My pleasure.